All right, Johnny. What's going on? Well, why are you fired up? What's in your world, John? What's going on? What's fu- Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you speak. <laughs> don't speak, John, uh, because we got to hit man. the disclaimer. John Fox does not take responsibility, nor can he be held liable for anything he says, does, or gestures. He's mentally healthy most of the time. If you are offended by these statements, know that it is not John's intention, but he doesn't really care. This being said, listen to your own risk and shut the fuck up. Normally, I don't think uh, before I, I, I kind of go through my filter. And this morning... Uh, you have I, a filter? <laughs> Not much of one. Okay, okay. I, 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 <laughs> I want to clarify that for a second. And every, you know, everybody is going to probably be upset with me or hate me because of what I'm about to this speak is be about. Good. You yeah. know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but that wouldn't be uh, much of a change. So I have no problem with that. Um, I I'm sitting here, um, just kind of uh, intaking culture over the past couple days, and I realize how much I despise uh, Drake. Okay? <laughs> Get ready, Mo. Uh, listen, Get ready. Li- li- listen to me r- right now. When you, grew up, when you grew up in an era of real hip-hop and people like Kurt Cobain and Eddie Vedder, like true artists and, 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 and like 90s and early 2000s hip-hop, Right, like I mean, your your Snoop's, your Dr. Dre's, your uh, Rakim's, or even earlier than that. These are true artists. And then I see this fucking douchebag, fucking dickhead <laughs> jumping around in fucking Christmas sweaters, talking about like like singing like a little bitch, and like it sounds like his ball. Listen, it sounds like his balls haven't dropped yet. But everybody loves him. And 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 and, and here, I, it's not so much like a. Like, 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 like he's the problem, although he is part of the problem. It's that our culture embraces him because like we discussed, he is absolutely murdering it business crushing it there, there's no doubt there i will never take that away from the guy um he's he's uh half african-american half jewish and um he you know he talks half about canadian okay <laughs> yeah yeah half ha- half canadian and and i just feel like he sells culture he doesn't sell art and when you're an artist there's something very flawed about that and I, I always feel if you're going to call yourself an artist, a musician, then be an artist. Don't be this 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 major brand or, or, or corporation. If you are a major brand or corporation, rep, represent yourself that way. Don't pretend like you're just oh, with the homies and smoking weed and doing all this stupid shit with your high voice and, 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 and like, like it just happened. This is a well thought out plan by a monster group of business people to make someone a massive international superstar. This isn't just some homie from the fucking hood who who hit it, you know? Um it, th- that that's not the case. And then you see all these people who are blinded by just this this pop culture, the ease of pop culture. Oh, there's a trending hashtag. Let me get out of my car and dance because everyone else is doing it. It's like, I don't I, I don't know, man. I I, I just I, I can't I can't connect with it. I think the dude's a whack ass MC. I love hip hop. He sucks. Um, he absolutely, I, I, I just want to reiterate that he sucks. He doesn't bring anything fucking good to the table. Um, he has a horrible voice. He tries to sing. He dresses stupid. Um, he's very awkward. And I think what, what he does is he contributes, he contributes to the, to the, uh, technological problem we have in this society and that's oh hashtag this do this everyone's gonna fucking sh-. it's just like he's not an artist and, and maybe that's what i'm trying to say through all these words is the man is not an artist he's a business he's a product it's a production say it motherfucker just fucking say it and stop acting like you came up 
through the fucking hood and you rap battled your way like fucking Eminem did to get an opportunity. Listen, I'm not an Eminem fan, but you can't take anything away from a man who went through what he went through because he's a fucking true artist. And again, I'm not an Eminem fan to get to where he got to. This man is a product, and everyone is buying what he's selling. So good for him, but don't misrepresent yourself because it's fucking whack. I, mean, I, I can understand, like, after knowing him, being around him, and, and understanding. Um, John or Drake? John. Okay. I, I, I can understand you. <laughs> I wasn't sure, Mo. Go ahead. No, no, no. I can understand what he said. Like, at first, when, like, when he first started, I started laughing. And then when he started hitting home on the point, I got sure. exactly what he was saying uh, because I, I think. If I can hear you correctly, it's like uh, appreciating the, the the real art form, and 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 the the actual skill that allows you to transcend to be uh, a prominent artist from skill and passion and your personal experience and not everything being um, engineered. You know what I'm saying? And what happens is with pop culture, you get this this big production that's engineered and it turns into him. And then that same, I don't want to call it, it well, it is just that, that same commercial energy. It's like a boy band, basically. Yeah, it resonates right. the world. Like, let, like, let's look at here. Sorry, uh, I mean to cut you off. No, it's, it's so, exactly so, what it is. So I'm not talking about like Rakim and people uh, that the listener may not know. Look at, look at Kendrick Lamar. That dude's legit. That dude is a fucking real MC. That 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 dude's all about hip hop. That dude's all all about getting a message out there. And he's intelligent and and he's fantastic at what he does. But he's not a fucking product. He is not a fucking sellout. He's speaking real shit, trying to make real change, it, not dancing in some fucking stupid sweater. But I, I think I, I think there's. A, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think there's a. I, I love the point back against Kendrick Lamar, though. Which I, 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 I think there's an energy that you get from people who are artists, no matter what they're talking about, that if that's authentic to them, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I, and I think that even when you said with Eminem, a person may not necessarily like his records or what, what it sounds like, but you can be like, okay, that's him. You know what I'm saying? That, that's real to him and real to his experience, real, real to what he's voicing. Uh, and, and so I, I de- you put like this, me, I'm just saying, I, I get your point. I totally get it, and yeah. yeah I, play this. I'm not a Drake fan. Uh, I, I can't listen to his music just because my lifestyle is totally different. You right. know, so I just there's there's nothing. How, how old's your daughter? My daughter's 11. Yeah, I mean Drake's for like 11 year old girls. Yeah, I mean yeah. My, even but you know what? One thing I found out about my daughter, uh, I respect that. Even my daughter, my daughter went to the Demi Lovato concert, right? Mm-hmm. And if you listen to the content of what Demi Lovato talks about, and I've, real, I've huh? oh, very real, you know, and and a, and a large part of her content has to do with just overcoming personal struggles and, and relapsing and and going through personal shit. But I can appreciate that my daughter connects with that type of music, you know. And even my daughter, she may like, okay, I met her. She may be a fan of her, but at least the the music and and the life experience is real. It's not like. Um, I don't even know it's popular amongst kids. Like just some fictitious pop shit. Drake, Drake's popular. Yeah, amongst yeah. ten-year-old girls. She does. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. listen. But to if Drake. you ask Drake, he'll say, "I'm a grave digger." You know what I'm saying? It's like, shut the 